Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing this army green on my eyes right now. I actually kind of did the full face, but I'm going to speed through the face process of it so that you can just get to the eyes in the video. It doesn't take forever. But um, I wore this green shirt for some reason. I'm so into camo right now and I love it with my black nails. Like, oh my gosh, something about camo and black nails just is really working right now in my brain but that's what this look was inspired by was this shirt and these nails so if you want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching also quick side note my hair is up I know it's two different colors um I've got extensions in and they're not even in the right way like if I turn around and show you this it it would be so bad but uh my hair is at a very weird length right now to where I can't keep it all up in a ponytail without a thousand bobby pins but I put my extensions on the outside of my hairline and just used it to pull it all up because I can't stand when my hair back here pokes my ears it absolutely drives me crazy so I had to get it off my ears so we're just rocking a ponytail that looks about like crap <laughs> if I'm to be honest I wish you guys could see this in person you would laugh at me so hard right now but that's okay it is what it is so now I'll let you guys go and I'll catch you in the next one <laughs> bye <laughs> for real this time so we're starting this one out with the dry skin cream from the dollar store. This is a amazing cream if you are dry like myself. Then I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer in all of my problem areas to get rid of any pores and to have smooth, flawless skin. Now let's get the chapstick on. I'm using the pumpkin pie flavor. You can tell I'm very excited about this because I'm not over Thanksgiving just yet. And then it is on to the Unique Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation and rest in peace to this drop right here which got on my shirt unfortunately <laughs> to blend that all in i'm using the ulta beauty angled foundation brush i love this thing because it's small and i can get in all of the precise areas of my face and it just really gives me a chance to work the foundation into my skin and then i'm taking a beauty blender this one's not really damp i sprayed it with a little bit of rose water and that's about as damp as it was because i was being lazy i'm just blending out my foundation even further before going in with concealer and i'm using the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 15 fair and i'm just going to highlight you know all the usual places just under the eyes the forehead down the bridge of the nose and the chin. You can do the cupid's bow if you want to as well. So now I'm taking some of the Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder and I'm using this on my under eyes and anywhere that I set my highlight with. But I will tell you guys if you are anywhere near my skin tone you can see this really did turn my under eyes yellow. I don't suggest necessarily baking with this stuff if you are like I said my skin tone. If you are darker than me that might work out for you but for me it really just kind of turned my under eyes quite yellow. If I would have just used a brush and lightly dusted it under there, I think it would have done a much better job. So here I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and I'm going over all the places where I have that powder. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of that powder to kind of counteract the yellowness under my eyes. And I'm going to use it to set the rest of my face. On to brows, I'm using that e.l.f. eyebrow liner that I keep talking about. I'm still not sure if I like this or not. I think I do and I think I'll probably repurchase it again. When it comes to makeup I'm all about trying new things so I really can't tell you if I really will repurchase it. Just know that I do think it is worth the purchase for sure. Now you can see the huge difference that it actually does make and then I'm going to take a little bit more of that Fit Me Concealer and a concealer brush and I'm going to really shape out the bottom of the brows. I don't really like to carve out the top of my brow. Sometimes it feels like it makes it too harsh. But I do like to carve out the bottom of my brow. And I usually use my concealer for my eyeshadow primer. Which is what you see me doing here. And then to set that in place I'm taking the LA Colors Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm taking the second lightest shade in that palette. And I'm using this to set everything in place before it has a chance to crease up. For the rest of the shadow, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. So you could actually just use the shades that's in there. But I'm going to take Bless Her Heart and I'm going to put that right on the lid. This is the green shade that we're going to be using today. And actually, you could have just fluffed this onto your eyes and left your shadows at that. So I'm just taking a brush from eBay and applying that all over my lid. Then I'm taking the dark shade from the Sweet Peach palette. And I'm putting that on the outer V of my eye just to add some definition. Again, this step could be skipped. You could just keep building up that green shade 
and you would get a really nice eye look as well but I just wanted to add some depth to the outer corners then I'm just picking up a little bit more of that black shade on the fluffy brush that we laid the green down with and I'm really pushing it into the outer corner. And I'm picking up an Urban Decay brush. I'm using the flat shadow brush end and I'm really packing that green shade onto my eyelid. Then I'm picking up the smudger side of it and applying the green to the lower lash line. Now I'm taking Peaches and Cream on a fluffy brush and I'm going around the edges of this. This is the shade that I feel like you could have used instead of using the LA Colors palette, you could have just used that to set your whole lid. This one could be skipped. This is the Laura Mercier Rose Gold Caviar Stick. You could definitely use a shade that's in the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, but I had this on hand. I got it in a sample bag and just really wanted to use it because I never have before, and I wasn't really that impressed. The swatch looked really good on my hand, but once I got it on my eyes, I wasn't really impressed. Then I'm taking this tattooed eyeliner and I am putting that right on the lash line. I'm not winging it or anything. This is just to add some definition to the lashes. And I'm putting a purple liner on the waterline just for some contrast with the green. I love purple and green together. I thought that would look pretty cool. Then I added my Unique Epic Mascara and then I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer contouring and bronzing up my face. Time to wipe away the chapstick and line out the lips. This one is just a really good nude shade. If you just wanted to, you could use this only on your lips. I do that sometimes. And it's the number 11 in the nude shade by Essence. And then to go around the edges, I'm taking this Sublime. But we're going back to the 90s here. And we're going to outline the lips in a darker shade. And then I'm going to smush them together and add a new lipstick over the top of it to help blend it. This lipstick that I'm using is actually one of my all-time favorites, and you can pick it up at Dollar Tree. And then this highlighter right here is by Wet n Wild. This one's from the Fergie collection, which I'm pretty sure is no longer available, but they do have lots of good highlighters that would work equally as well. All right, y'all, and this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this one and learned something cool today. If you would like to see anything else from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can become a member of the family, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.